to look at this from a rapid response communications perspective. So what does that mean? That means that Israel and the United States have to be immediately transparent uh, whenever there is some sort of action, good, bad, and different, uh, and make sure that they're getting it out via social media, via things like online briefings to journalists. Uh, Israel should is starting to, but should continue to up the amount of briefings that they're giving to international media so that they can get uh, their story out. Of course, they're always going to face things like what we saw with the hospital attack, which was unfortunately trusted Western media sources uh, believed Hamas, including, by the way, the United Nations, including members of Congress. They irresponsibly went out with uh, the condemnations from Hamas without having the facts on the ground. So that's going to be Israel's challenge. If you've got trusted Western media outlets, if you've got the United Nations, if you have members of the American Congress promoting disinformation before the facts are out, then what happened? That got the Arab street riled up. That got people protesting at both Israeli but and Morgan, U.S. Uh, Morgan, embassies. if I can make this.